Hey there. Okay, today I would like to show you how to convert a pilot parallel pen to an eyedropper. Uh, that's actually a very useful thing to do, I think. These are calligraphy pens, and they're called parallel because they have a very weird nib, as you can see. These are just two sheets of metal. Parallel. So, I like it a lot as a calligraphy pen. I Yeah, I know we should all love dip pens and they're superior and blah blah blah. But in fact, these are very, very decent calligraphy pens. They come in a different uh, a variety of, of nib sizes. This is the 6mm version, which is really broad. Uh, I like it a lot. Very pleasant to work with. But they don't come with a converter. That is, they come with a converter, but you can only use it to clean the pen. It won't hold any ink. And the standard cartridges that go in these pens are this big. And they hold about one milliliter of ink. Well, the funny thing is that the barrel of the pen is plastic. It's just a, a you know a completely hollow plastic tube. It's hollow all the way down there, and the the feed is just plastic too. Now the funny thing is you can disassemble this. So here we got the the, the grip section. Here we have the feed. That's completely plastic, no metal parts. There is a, with a little bit of pressure, you can take out the nib. So these are the real parallel plates. And then there is a little blue cap like thing that will come off, which is useful. I just like to show you if you want to clean it, you can take that off. Now you will see, hopefully, the camera will pick it up. There's a kind of notch there. You see that? It's not there on the other side, it's only there. And then this blue plastic thing has a little notch too. See it? It's like a hole. There you have it, and there you don't. So you should align this notch and the little hole. It'll click in. You take the nib, you put that in. Now this will bend, so don't hold it here. Hold it as low as you can and then sort of slide it in like that. A little bit of grease from your fingers will be on there, but I think it should be fine. And then you have the, the grip section and you can just slide in the feet again. Now what's this about an eyedropper? Why would you want to do that? Well, it's useful because as I said, this will hold one milliliter of ink. And this will hold three. So you will triple the amount of ink that will go in the pen, which is useful if you do a lot of calligraphy or do a lot of writing. You won't have to change inks as many uh, times. You won't have to change the cartridge. So that's a good thing. How do you do that? And what do you need? Well, you're going to need two things. Actually, you're going to need three. The first thing you'll need is a platinum, excuse me, a pilot parallel pen. Uh, if you don't have it, then obviously you can't convert it to an eyedropper. The second thing you'll need is an O ring, a rubber O ring. Like this. Um, I'm, I'm really not an expert at this. I think these are a quarter inch in diameter. What you also need is some silicon grease. Now, you can pick both of these up at your local do-it-yourself store. I got both of these at the Goulet Pen Company. GoulaPens.com I'm always very satisfied with the service there and this will be just what you need. So if you're not sure, like me, I'm not a do-it-yourself guy. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not. I don't know what to get. If you don't know what to get, order it from them. You can just buy the O-rings and they'll be the right size. Now, how do you do this? How do you convert this to an eyedropper converted pen? Well, it's it's really simple. You just unscrew it, as you would do normally. This you're going to fill up with ink. But before you do that, you have to prepare this section. The first thing you do is you take one of these rubber O-rings and you're going to slide it over these threads. So on one side I've got the nib. That's not the side you're going to work with, it's the other side. Now you can do two things. You can either grease this up with silicon grease first and then sort of push on 
this O-ring. Uh, well, I, I don't know whether that's a real advantage. The thing is, you because the O-ring is kind of a tight fit, you tend to push off the grease, and the grease will end up on the grip section and not in the section where you want to have it. So what I would do is first put on the O-ring. Now that's just going to be a little fumbling, but it shouldn't be too difficult. And then you push it as far as it will go. See it? It's right there. Just where you want to have it. Then you take some silicon grease. Now, it's not that expensive. There's no reason to be extremely, you know, skimpy with this. But don't overdo it either. You don't want this so greased up that it'll fly from your hands you can't even hold it. Uh, just put on a decent amount and put it on the threads. These threads, you want to cover them with as even a layer of silicon grease as you can. If a little bit of it you know, ends up there, not really on the threads, but a bit more down there, it's not an issue. It won't interfere with the ink. It's very neutral stuff, but it'll keep the ink from you know, flowing over the grip section. Once you got that covered, you can just put it away. And just I'm going to wipe my finger a little. Then you take the barrel and you fill it with ink. You can either use an eyedropper, just use bottled ink, right? Uh, fill the eyedropper, put it in there. I didn't really want to do that, it's a bit cumbersome. So I filled up an ink syringe with Noodler's Anti Feather, my favorite black calligraphy ink. And just going to put it in the barrel. It's, it's really simple. Now, you see these threads. Not sure whether, yeah, you should see the threads. Um, they're on the inside as well. Don't fill it up to the brim. You really don't want to do that. For safety, I would say stick to a couple of millimeters below these threads. Something like that. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to show you what the level is. You, you can picture that, I'm sure. There we go. Actually, I can put in a bit more. That means it holds, I think, a little more than three millimeters. So, okay, here comes the eyedropper. I'm sure you were waiting for this, and I'm quite sure you're waiting for me to screw up and spill ink all over my desk, but I think I can manage. Just a little more. Let's not overdo it. There we go. Now, what I like doing, which is not absolutely necessary, which is to make sure there's no ink on the inside of the threads, is just take a paper towel, roll it up a little bit like that. Don't stick it all the way in, just rub it around the edges of the pen on the inside. And that way you can sort of clear some excess ink that's on the inside of the threads. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Now that you've done that, just assemble it again. Just screw this in here. And when you tighten it, go about this far. You can go further, but as you can see, that kind of messes up the O-ring. So you want it to be just tightened. Because this is rubber, you won't accidentally open it. I mean, just be a little careful with that and it should work out. I'm going to turn it around. You see that? That's the ink flowing in. What you may also see is that there is no ink dripping down it or anything, because the O-ring of the silicon grease will hold it out. Now, just to make sure, clean paper towel, which is rub it around here no ink and if all's well it doesn't write straight away because there's no ink in the feed if you would you know fill it with a converter ink would be in the feed the ink, this, but the feed isn't saturated yet just shake it around a little there we go. 
don't know whether you can really see. Ink. This will take a little bit of, you know, feed saturation. I'm shaking the pen. There we go. That's pretty tight. It'll take a while. Uh, if you can't get it to, to flow well, just hold it like this, tap it there, and ink will get into the feed and you can write. Now, there's one thing I'd like to point out, and that's very important. The rubber ring, the O-ring, will interfere a little bit with the cap. So if I screw this on, this used to be extremely smooth, now it's a little, you know, uh, tighter because there's some friction with the rubber of the o-ring and that's fine you don't have to close it up all the way you used to because the o-ring will keep out air and I think it, it forms a pretty good seal with the cap so what I do is I put it on and I twist it once like that and that's it I don't go all the way down why because if I do so like this I open it again then this thing has opened. There's a little gap between the O-ring and the barrel, which I need to restore. You don't want ink to flow out. So be very careful. If you unscrew it, you don't want to spill this huge amount of ink all over your desk, your paper, your clothes, your hands, whatever. So, my only warning, this should be safe. I think it should work. But be careful when you close it. Don't put the twisted cap on there all the way down. Just give it one twist and it's in. When you open it again, remember to hold it up like this, not down like that, up like this. Just It should be safe. Should there be an accident, then the ink won't spill out, right? And that's it. That's how to convert a Pilot Parallel Pen to an eyedropper filled, fan, filled pen. And that should allow you to write for a much longer period of time. So I hope you liked it. I hope this was useful to you. See you later.